Hello viewers and welcome to the fifth and final programme coming to you courtesy of Newry and Moran District Council. My name of course is Hilary Halliday and over the last few weeks I've been chatting to councillors from each of the different electoral areas and this morning I'm delighted to be joined by councillors from Sleeve Gullion. Uh, you're very welcome. Thank Could you. Would you just like to introduce yourselves? I'm uh, Councillor Terry Herty from the Cross Midland area. I've been on the council from uh, 2001. And, and uh, I'm Mickey Larkin from Drummond Tee, representing uh, Forkill, Drummond Tee, Jonesburg, Mullaban area. Uh, I was co-opted in January and then elected in May. Well, as I say, you're all, you're all very welcome. Uh, we're going to start with um, that area where your name is derived from, Sleeve Gullion. And of course, Sleeve Gullion has been there for probably a million years. Uh, but I think it's fair to say that it's only after, it's only following the last couple of decades that we've begun to realise the, the significance of it and the beauty and the value that we have right here in our area. Um, do you think we're doing enough to um, promote that and to attract visitors? Because I believe uh, geologists come from all over the world to study the rock formation. It's full of myths and legends, so we have a great product there. Would you agree with that? I would agree with that, and, and uh, Sleek Gullion is, is, the, is a beautiful spot, and, and, and it is the big attraction in, the, in this entire area, like in, in the entire Newry uh, and Warren area, it is, is the greatest attraction we have. It's a, it has now over the last number of years like really really come alive. It has. Yeah. Uh, the fact that that um, you know the the walk had been done on the new mountain trail had been created, the play park over there, like the visitor numbers to it is unreal. Like where we were uh, trying to cope with two thousand visitors a day to it. Do you know where the the Translink had to actually run a bus out to to try and cope with the park and That's everything right. else? It's been a real success story, and and that all come down, uh, uh, do you know, from from a bit of hard work between the 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 South Armagh councillors and and Castle Blaney council. So it was working together on that that, yeah. that we got cross border project, cross initiative, border yeah. initi initiative that we got these projects up and going, and such such a success story and and. The news now that that funding has come for to to complete the walk on the top of the mountain. Like, I go over there on 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 a Sunday morning. It's it's a beautiful place to to go, and you meet so many people on it from different parts of the country, mm -hmm. uh, even different parts of the world. Just out there for a walk on a Sunday morning, and and it's a beautiful setting. It's 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 a. Uh, you're really in a world of your own when you're there, and it's fabulous. It is. It's beautiful in the scenery. Um, Councillor Larkin, the play park has been a, a tremendous success. I mean, I take my grandchildren there when they come home from Scotland and they just think it's, it's fabulous, you know, with the whole wilderness of it, you know, walking up the mountains and that sort of thing. I believe there's plans now to extend that. There's going to be a, a giant's lair created. Uh, yes, uh, Can you tell us a bit about that? That's a very exciting project. Um, it's being developed by Sticky Fingers yes. here in Newry in conjunction with the uh, Newry Moran Council and the uh, funding from the Tourist Board. Uh, I think it's something like half a million pounds being put into that project and it's, it's close to getting up and running. I think all the design and the uh, formation stages are ready and you may have noticed a week ago in the papers little stories about um, furry dust and yeah, tools sort of belonging to furries being found. Uh, it's going to be a mystical walkway up into Hawthorne Hill Wood, right. just up behind the, the play park. And it's uh, some project, it's, it's a massive project, There's, there'll be three houses and Giant's oh, lures. Lovely. It involves uh, storytelling, uh, the folklore of the area, plus uh, a very imaginative um, little main character called Flynn. Oh, right. <laughs> Would you believe it? Right. <laughs> Who we think was named after our colleague Anthony Flynn, Anthony. but I'm not sure. <laughs> he's claiming right. that. He's claiming <laughs> that anyway. Well, <laughs> yeah, he will do that. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're just waiting for the development of the wee soft cuddly toy. <laughs> yeah. You know, but that 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 project is is. Almost ready to go. Hopefully, it'll be up and running um, by the end of the year, by December. And is this Christmas. going to be an ongoing thing? That's going to be a year round. Is it going <coughs> to be a summer thing, yeah. or well, this is actually is going to be the first on the island. Nice. And whereas, as Terry mentioned, there are two thousand visitors regularly into into at, into at the, the Sleeve Gullion yeah. at the moment. Yeah. There's more people going to Sleeve Gullion than go to Jens Causeway. Um, it's attracting really? more visitors, yes, and it's incredible. And this is only the start of it. 
I mean, this last number of years, 20 years ago, you might have found so That's a true. person walking through I, the I woods. remember a few years ago going up Sleeve Gully and it was in the winter time, and there wasn't one person That's there. Right. And I said, yep. you know, if this was the Lake District, yeah. It'd be swarm with people, but thank goodness that's yeah. been addressed. You're now. waiting for a grizzly bear coming <laughs> out of the woods or something. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>Well, we've just uh, been joined by Councillor Geraldine Donnelly. Um, Geraldine, you're very welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, we were just having a chat there about uh, the whole South Armagh area uh, yeah. in terms of tourism. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot happening in Sleeve Gullion, for instance, the new play park, uh, the, this new proposed Giant's Lair. Mm -hmm. Do you welcome all of these new... Of uh, course, of course I do. And first of all, can I apologise for coming late? I did have car trouble and... Um, I think it's all sorted now, so apologies for that. Yeah. Um, yes, um, absolutely, and I think the only way really is up. I mean, we've had, um, uh, with the investment in Sligullion Forest Park, it's just been tremendous. It, it took off really way beyond our expectations. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, there's thousands of visitors coming there across border uh, from every angle, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the Giants Lair now, um, coming up next year hopefully or it should be complete before then of course but that will only add to to the That'll number of people fantastic. coming yeah. Yeah. now we the only issue there and there is a real issue and i don't want to be negative but the road we must concentrate on getting that road fixed at that location uh, particularly the entrance right. so we need investment in there and then we're flying it's, it's there all on. go is yeah. it mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Councillor Larkin, you were just explained a bit there, and I did ask you, was this going to be a, a year-round pr project? Is it going to be open all the year oh, yes, round? Giant, the Giant's the, 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 the Giant Lair, that's the, interesting. The, the, the project will, will be open year-round. Of course, the, the, the boom time would be in the summer, like yes, with, uh -huh. with the holidays and children off. But uh, it, it's a, it'll be a, an ever-changing developing scheme, right. whereas the, the storylines can change throughout the year and year on year. And uh, the beauty about that is even though you have the... the the structure in, in place, there'll be something different. So you can visit it one year, well, on and on, another ongoing. season, you, could, you mm -hmm. could visit it, there'd be a different storytelling, uh, and it possibly uh, linked to the seasons itself, you know. Great. I'm sure around Christmas, if we ever get snow again, you know, <laughs> yeah, there, there'll, there'll, be, there'll, there'll be a different, be different, yeah, <laughs> different be a form. And um, there, I mean, there's tree houses, and I say layers, there's pathways. There'll be, during the summer, the, the, the intention is to, to uh, have uh, Possibly students, their storytelling right. for, for the children. I mean, in in the school year, there will be a great school place for, and all for school visits. Right. Like well, is it going to be a charge into this, or is it is it going to be free? Well, and that's the question. Um, <laughs> that was discussed. And was it? Uh, yes, it has been discussed, and um, you know, there's foreign against that. Yeah, yeah. there's arguments for it. There's no against final it, yeah. decision yeah. on that yet. But any charge on it would, would, be, would, would, would be very, would oh, be good. very, very Minimal. small. Well, yeah. that's good. Yeah, um, yeah. Because I remember a couple of years ago we had the uh, the dragons. Do you remember? Yeah, and Sticky that's fingers right. did yes. the dragon, yeah. and it, it was great. It Fabulous. was a great. Uh, it went on for about a month, didn't yeah. it? And yeah. I remember having my grandchildren of it, and they yeah. just thought it was fantastic. Well, think of this on a bigger scale. Bigger scale. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, look, yeah. I'm really looking yeah. forward to that. Plus, as I say, it's, it's the only. It's going to be the only one on the island. It's, it's the first. So uh, you are going to attract people. I mean, like one hour, two hours in the motorway. Two hours from the motorway will take you from a, a long distance yeah. from the south, and there, there will be a lot of people travelling to see this. So this is really going to put Sleeve Gullion on the map. It, it will. It's, it's, yeah. it's going to be a, a massive tourist draw for the area for all, all ages. And uh, there's, there's other th things linked to it too, with uh, there'll be a series of books released oh, uh, as right. the stories change yes. too, and uh, we'll see what the film rates, how uh, they go. Maybe Anthony could be, yeah. 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 be starred. <laughs> 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 we'll just put a wee beard on him. Yeah, uh, but, uh, yeah and it's safe, look, like it's well off the, yeah. off the beaten track, and it's yeah. safe for safe young, for young for families children. to come, yeah, for, yeah. Yeah, for yeah. small yeah. children, and mum can go for a coffee That's with right. her friends, yeah. and the children exactly. can have their time. And it's exercise and it's outdoor, yeah. so it's all to do with health. Health yeah. and well-being, really, yeah. Yeah, yes, to be welcomed. Yeah. There's, a lot of, there's a lot of aspects to it. And it's only 10 minutes yeah. off the motorway, yeah. yes. you know, uh -huh. coming yeah. from south or north. Yeah. You know. that's, that's very so now true. Coming, now coming this time of year is the, the, the cycling people. It, it oh, the mountain off. biking it, it, it and all e that. Well, the cycling, even the road cycling, it eases off now. You know, people quit it for the years from the rest of the year. Now the road gets slippy, things like that, yeah, you know. Uh -huh. And a lot of those people take to walking on Sleek Island, you know. So you have the walks there, you have the, mm -hmm. the, the improvement on, on the mountain trail. And certainly if we get this 
path uh, that will take you across to the lake and, and the rest of the mountain and that, it'll be a fabulous lake. Yeah, well, I think that's going to be part of this new Ring of Gullion Landscape yep. uh, Partnership. I that's believe right, there's yeah. been a million pounds funding uh, pumped into that. That's right, well, and there's going to be like something like 24 projects uh, rolled out onto that. Yeah. What's, what sort of things are we looking forward uh, to in that? It, it covers all aspects from, from, the, from nature to heritage to... to walkways, um, uh, conservation, and uh, there, as you say, there's 24 projects. It's a, not Sleeve Gullion itself, it's the Ring of Gullion. The so it takes, Ring it of takes in all the villages mm -hmm. in the area, yeah. and, and uh, it's a, a brilliant project. I think in total it's going to be something close to one and a half million pounds will be yeah. spent on it. Right. I mean, there's walkways being formed in, in Bessbrook and Kiamla. You know, the heritage walks, uh, out there more wood there. So it's the whole of South Ireland. Oh, yes, yeah. 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 And there's a lot of work going on, and it's all in good hands. I mean, yeah. we're very, very lucky to have you know, somebody, well, the council obviously doing that, but we have a man out there, Darren Rice, and he's, he's exceptional. He's, oh, he's, and I would have he's to very committed. Yeah, yeah, he's very committed. Yeah. Yeah. And he's really so enthusiastic. Yes, he's yeah. yeah. enthusiastic. Yeah. He's passionate yeah. about passionate the work he does. Yeah. And yeah. You know, everything's been working fine since he came. Well, you yeah, know, I mean, people had worked previously to that, of course. But Darren is totally Yes, he's just enthused now. everybody. Yes. So hands on the projects, yeah. I think, that, yeah. that he can draw people in. Yeah. Know, yeah. And, yeah. And, and people can see the interest and passion he has about the area. Yeah. Know, so, so that's already started, has <coughs> it, those projects? Has yeah. that they have already started. So completion date for those, what are we looking at in, t in the time scale? Well, year funding, I'm sure there, yeah, there's restrictions on that, you know, and, and, and I can't say exactly when. I think I think it's being ruled out over, over a number of years. Yeah, three, three, three to five yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but any funding that yeah. comes, you know, whatever part um, is funded, that'll there'll be a deadline. A deadline. Yeah, yeah, for each project. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. we can we can look forward to it. We're very lucky to be getting that funding. Mm -hmm. We welcome it, and we. And that's coming from the more. environment <laughs> agency, more. isn't it? We, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're always looking for funding. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, well, uh, then I do believe the, the, the management of the Ring of Gullion as an AONB, we've appointed an officer there just to look after the, the environment. Do you know anything about that? Is, is this to be welcomed? Of, of course. course. Oh, and yeah. Everything t is to be welcomed. Yeah. All yeah, anything yeah. positive for the area is to yeah. be welcomed. And we've been sort of asleep, you might say, for the last 40 years. Well, that's so what I said. And it's so only the last few years. we woke up sure. and yeah. everything's positive and good. And, Absolutely. you know, enthousi we're enthusiastic about all of that. And Yes, we're certainly on the map. Yeah, well, we're starting from a low base, you know, yes, and, yeah. and to news. see what even has been achieved in the last couple yeah. of years, and the plans mm -hmm. for the next five years are lonely. And uh, yeah. in the Ring of Gullion, but also in, on Sleep Gullion itself, the, the, the exploration of possibilities up there for, from, from the, the, the Giant's Lair to walks, the walk at the top at the, up at the, the lake. And uh, I think one of the, the projects is the, um, so the, the to deal with the car up there to, to ensure that it uh, is stabilized and yeah and, you know Secure, yes. uh, for, for the yeah, future like you know because yeah. so many people up there now That's it right, is yeah. starting to deteriorate more people claiming really? on it really yeah. oh yes uh -huh. there's, a lot, uh -huh. there's a lot of photographs it's covered with it's covered with sleeve gullion car like, yeah, you know yeah. so that one of the projects <laughs> is to stabilize it and to secure it and to, to, so that it'll be there in another thousand years or two thousand yeah. years you know there's a responsibility uh, on us to to do that i think you know to protect them yeah preserve well hopefully all of these things, as, as we said, is going to attract more and more visitors to South Armagh and really, really yeah, put us right. on the map out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all right there, we yeah. are, and we're very proud of that. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, we are proud. Uh, well, there's always been a great community atmosphere in, in South Armagh, hasn't there? And mm -hmm. we've yeah. just uh, completed, I think, the refurbishment of the uh, community centre in Cross Midlane, which was built, I think it was one of the first purpose built centres in Urian yes. Morn right. way in the early 80s, was it? Yeah. It was 81, I think. Um, so obviously, it's it's correct, the, the community had outgrown the building as it was. What's uh, happening with the new centre now? What's it incorporating? Well, the, the new centre will hopefully open uh, by the end of this month. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, like uh, Cross Midland Community Centre had been the busiest community centre in the Newry Moran area. It was really the jewel in the crown. Uh, and uh, as I say, it had been built in, in the early 80s mm. and we hadn't the proper disability access of that in the building. Right. We had uh, so many users for the building that we were tor actually turning groups away, you know, because we couldn't, we, we couldn't cope with them. For a number of years we've been trying to, to extend the community centre to, to cope with the, with the usage in the area. The, um, uh, a number of years ago, we, the Rural Development Money come online, so the Southern Organisation for Action in the Rural Area was set up, 
and, and there was uh, over £13 million pounds through down between uh, Newry and Moore, Craigavon and Armagh right. to deliver projects in, in the rural area. And uh, we were very lucky in, in, in Cross Midland to, to hit on this funding. Uh, it's been it's been a, a, a godsend to us, you know, that that we hadn't to 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 um, that the council hadn't come up with all the money all that, the money that uh, we we could use this this rural development money, and it uh, we had a tour of it uh, the last meeting we had in Cross mm -hmm. Midland, and it's fabulous. Like uh, the whole fire has has been opened up on it. The the such improvements uh, with the extension upstairs. There's a beautiful room upstairs. Will seat up to to 50 people. It's it will be set out for for uh, doing the IT stuff. You know, right. and it it'll be a big access. <coughs> there's there's uh, along with that big room. There's 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 uh, <coughs> four smaller rooms off to the side that will be used by by uh, citizens' advice and different groups right. that 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 comes into the town. But fabulous uh, facility, really. It's really finishing off, beautiful, uh, and and we are we are delighted with it. And there's no doubt that the 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 usage of it will be well, will, will will be will be unbelievable. You know, and it'll be a big big benefit to to the to, to the, the people, time. not only to the people across Midland, but it's used by all the outside groups. You know, the the Ra the Rainbow Club on that that takes uh, uh, people with disabilities into the town. It's used by by after. By the the, the dinner uh, club, lunch that, clubs the lunch and club sort of come thing, in, yeah. comes mm -hmm. in, use it like the the keep fit, the samba. So all it's of really this a multi-purpose building. It's, it's a like a, it's it's like a, a town hall, an art centre, a community centre, a library. It's a focal point. Yeah. it's a focal point yes. in Crossmill. It's Midland. always been, and since it was opened, one thing I will say about it, it's been cared for very yeah. well. Um, yes, it, it we has had been fantastic a caretakers who yeah. looked after it. So the building extremely well used, extremely well kept. The, the Rainbow Club have been in operation since its, its inception and also the Cozy Corner Playgroup. Mm -hmm. So right. they were both come back in there. The library wasn't really fit for purpose. It had sort of outgrown it, you know, in size terms. But now um, it's extended way beyond, um, you know, it, it's really fit for purpose now. Good. And uh, they have computers in there and so on for broadband and for students to use Excellent. Yeah. so and then it's just it's new build and it's beautiful and it's, it's divided the main hall which um, it can now be divided in two which means it'll cater for more groups yes, of people uh -huh, so yeah. all in all yeah it's very much uh, so there's going to be an official opening i take it there will, there will be an official opening on, on it at uh, the end of the, the, the uh, yeah by um, it might be uh, it might be after, a bit. It might go a bit, a bit, yes. a bit beyond that. But the the whole thing on that is the the lifter to give that end of the town. We have the credit union now coming in beside us now. We're a beautiful new building, mm. uh, oh, nice. a fabulous building. Uh, because that was a, actually there was a, an old building there. It was uh, it, uh, it was derelict, and this fabulous new building by the the Crossford Land Credit Union like they're doing fabulous work to 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 put up such a building. You know, and it's it's to kick off. It's out to contract now, and and uh, the building it'll start in the next month and that. So it'll 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 add to the community centre and really lift that end of the town. And and, and totally Good. delighted with the two projects. That's excellent. Well, I believe then there's a new uh, community centre going up at, at Cullerville, and there's been. Or yes, Colville. We've been out there uh, on Tuesday. Yeah, we've been there on Tuesday. Yeah, it's 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 moving on fabulous. It's it's a project uh, over a million pound project, mm -hmm. and it's also been uh, funded by SOAR, uh, the Rural Development Money, okay. and uh, along with Newry and Moore District Council and the uh, the Development Association out there. A uh, number of groups come together there in in the Development Association. Uh, a community doing fabulous work, uh, taking on this project, and they're really, really, really working hard at it. Uh, like everything else, we're, we're on a tight deadline to complete for yes, for the funding the fund and that. And there, yeah, so we, we had. So to when, when do you think we'll have it? Well, that will be we, up it has to be finished by the end of December. It has to be finished. Really? That, um, mm -hmm. Then we got a date of the 19th of December out on, uh, there on Tuesday. Yep. So uh, we're hoping that we actually will we ha actually have it have it finished, you know, because the, the the funding of that has to be completed before the end of the year, you know. So after the 19th of December, we're into the to the council closing down the bank yes, holidays, things yes, like that. So uh -huh, uh -huh. We're, we're on a deadline to for the 19th of December, and I have no doubt that that we'll achieve that. You can actually see mm -hmm. we meet there every month on on the project, and you actually see the changes now really. Really, really happening, and we're down to the 
to the picking of the, the kitchen, the, oh. the coloring programs. And I didn't realise it was that, that far. <laughs> so it's, 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 it, is, it is that far on, and, and it's a fabulous because, uh, uh, you know, the, it'll really lift that, that area, you know, the, uh, because we didn't have much um, community development in the Cullerville area, and, that, and, and that the, I'm delighted that and the And you're right away at the edge of the Right away at the edge, at the edge really, of the, the, uh, the area, yeah, and yeah. The, the, the thing about it is that, that I'm so delighted that, that the council's involved in this project along with, along with, the, with the Development Association. Good. So it's fabulous. Well, yeah, there was always sorry. a good community spirit there, now. a very yes. good, but very limited um, resources, you know, resources sorry, there, yeah. so yeah, yeah. really... Um, it's just well, that's, that's, that's two, 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 two big projects, two big projects two big in that project, area that yeah. are, will be a great asset. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I've, asset. I've been up at both of them and they're, they're incredible. Yeah. Like, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, I'd say the Cross Community Centre could be renamed the Town Hall perhaps. And, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. We, got, we could have a survey for that. All you need now is the swimming. <laughs> and just yeah, one, if sorry. I can say one thing here, I'd like to take this opportunity. I think we, we very sadly lost two excellent people who were real community spirited people in the last couple of weeks. Um, Anne McGinney, who um, yes, sadly indeed. died a few uh -huh. weeks ago, and she was involved at the, the very beginning That's right, with the yeah. Cullerville, and I would just love that, you know, they would consider it's not to us, of course, to, to name a room or something yeah, after, so because I think she was held in very head regard. She definitely was. And also she? then in, in Cross Midland area, we lost um, an excellent man there, and Eugene Donaghy, who That's was right. responsible for um, bringing the fire service to Cross Midland, yes. and he has worked tirelessly for a community association, and for various other organisations. So, again, just when you mentioned the, ten, uh, the yeah. community centre, I would love to see a room there named in his honour as well. Well, I suppose that's nice, something yeah. for the to acknowledge. It is, of course, yeah. it's just yeah. when yeah. it's yeah. well, it's, it's, it's a good idea. Hopefully we'll see Destination Year out for the two openings. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, apart from council projects, I believe there's other, lots of other things going on in, in South Armagh, across Midland. I believe there's just uh, been an announcement that uh, there's going to be a new secondary school, St Joseph's High School. Yes, yeah. absolutely. That's something that we, we are really going to focus on. We have to. The yeah. school is extremely primitive, to say really? the least. Uh -huh. We had the minister out there um, a couple of months back, and uh, he himself agreed that it's, you know, not... Fit Again, for not fit for really. purpose yeah. either. Yeah. Um, there, it's a fabulous school doing fabulous work, great results. Great results. But yes. um, in, the the actual school itself, the facilities are yeah. diabolical. Really, they are yeah. really, really yeah. primitive. So we have to focus on that, and that is our big, big thing focus. Terry and I are both on the the board of governors, yeah. and you know we'll be pushing big time. So, to Councillor get that. Hardy, when do you think this will? Well, it, it, it probably will take. It probably will take a number of years before we get an actual bill. You know, because we're not actual uh, sure on on the site whether the site we have is is uh, big enough to cope with the numbers and that. Because a number of years ago, when we started doing the levels in the school, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the numbers have grown into to over six hundred now. You know, so it's 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 uh, there's 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 a bit of finer work to be done. You know, the 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 drawings, the um, plans, and all that for it will mm -hmm. take will take a bit of time. But it as as Geraldine says, it's a fabulous school. Like mm -hmm. the, there had been no change, and it's almost thirty five years from I've been at school there, and there had been very little change in it from from I was actually at school there, and uh, it really it really needed a new build. And we were delighted when, when we got this announcement from the minister that, mm, that, that after he visited the school that we were getting a new bill there. Fabulous news for, for, for not Cross Midland, but the entire South Amai area. Absolutely, you know, the, yeah. the children come from, from, from Forkill, Drummond mm -hmm, Tee, mm -hmm, Silverbridge, yeah. Mullaban, all those entire areas, Cullihanna, all those areas yeah. tie in into the school there. The fact now that, that, that uh, we are covering the A-levels in it, like our GCSE results and that have been fabulous yes, in it. I they are. And mm -hmm. uh, we have a fantastic bunch of teachers there. We have a great principal there. We have people doing, fe people doing, doing uh, 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 fabulous work. We have Tom McKay, who's sort of the chair of the Board of Governors there mm -hmm. for, for a long number of years. And uh, Tom is retired now this Sadly, year, along with, along with Pius Tyranny, that did fabulous work there over the years and, and, and keeping everything going. And just, I would like to, to thank them and wish them well in, in, in their retirement Absolutely. for the Board of Governors. But this, yeah. is a, this is a mighty project for, for, for Cross Midland. And it's good that the Council is, is supporting that, and the, the US Councillors yes, are supporting that. The, the, Councillor the, Larkin, I believe there's other educational establishments being. Oh, well, <coughs> it's great to see cross cross well deserving 
for a new school and uh, as, as Terry said it, it, the school doesn't just serve Cross McLean it serves the entire area mm -hmm. and uh, it's well it's needed like uh, we're out there meeting the uh, the head the head John Jones and uh, some of the, the board of governors and done a tour of it and it it is in dire need of it and uh, it's good to see this investment communities like to see investment like to see a payback for, well, you their, have to for their money invest in your young people yes, don't you really? yeah that's yeah. the future like yeah, yeah. so uh, uh, it's great to see it in recent years, uh, Fork Hill got a new primary school, so did Drum and Tea. They were mm -hmm. both in dire need of one, and there's two great new establishments there. And uh, the place are thriving, they're bunged, you know. Good. And uh, as I said, uh, communities need investment, and they need to see that government agencies yeah, care about, care about them, them exactly. and are willing to invest, put yeah. their money back in, because that's ratepayers and taxpayers' money. And once it goes back into the communities and the infrastructure, it, it creates, uh, a, it gives a lift to those communities. And, and the more the merrier. Well, yeah. just staying with young people then, I believe we're going to have a Halloween festival out in, in, in Cross Midland. What's, what's the plans for that? <laughs> well, He's yeah. all dressing up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us don't need to. <laughs> well, we're certainly, we're all, certainly all uh, dressing up and, and very much geared for this year's Halloween festival. It's now for for a number of years and uh, like it's been been a real success story like the the numbers coming into cross Midland over the over the number of days that we run this the involvement in all the schools in the area and that uh, the numbers last year I think on the on the night of the fireworks display uh, and the entertainment we had in the square they estimated five to six thousand people on the square in cross Midland okay. uh, fabulous scene we uh, we have the fireworks display uh, thanks to the Cross Midland Rangers, working in conjunction with Cross Midland Rangers, uh, we use their premises there where the people go into their stands and feel in that and can watch the, the fireworks display. It leads off with a parade down the town with all the different events from Good. fire eaters and all the all the all the, yeah. the 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 carnival atmosphere that takes place. We do, of course, all the children come dressed up to it. Uh, fabulous uh, event. Uh, it involves the the as I say. The, the committee there, the Cross Midland Rangers, the Com Cross Midland Community Association, uh, all of the schools participate from an early stage. You know, the, the at the launch of the uh, the Halloween festival, it'll go out to a different school every year right, in, in right. the area there, okay. and that. So fabulous event. And, Getting everybody and involved. It it involves the children from a very early stage, and they they really take ownership of it, and, and a real success story. The numbers uh, uh, is growing every year, so we're certainly delighted. With it. So is that happening on the Friday night? That's happening. Uh, it'll it'll kick off on the Thursday evening. Uh, where where the, it always kicks off at the Rainbow Club on the Thursday evening, you know. So it'll there'll be a few events on the Thursday evening, and then and then from uh, one o'clock on the Friday, running right through till uh, eleven o'clock on Friday night. Good. So, Councillor Donnelly, are you looking forward to this as well? Well, I I'm on holiday that time. Oh, you're on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere more exotic. Yeah. Uh, 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 hopefully. Uh, <laughs> you Transylvania, you're doing the real tour. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, uh, obviously, lots and lots happening out uh, out in South Armagh. Oh yeah, it's, um, it's buzzing. The it's three of you are going forward into the, into the new council now, mm -hmm. uh, and obviously, you're going to be putting forward the case for South Armagh. Do you think it's going to be more difficult uh, as we're part of a, a, a larger council and, and South Armagh sitting right there on the perimeter uh, to get your case heard and to get funding? How do you, how are you going to cope with that? Well, I we'll don't have to fight I, um, yeah. on. Yeah, I think uh, it will be harder. I would certainly mm -hmm. acknowledge that it will, will be harder because it's a huge area and everyone's in there with looking for the peace. But we'll fight on, and we've done. You know, I think we're well. We're ahead in, in a lot of ways, and you know, so that um, we've partly established there. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of front in place yes, yeah. at the yes, moment. Yeah, yeah but uh, we'll, that'll have to continue, and we'll just have yeah. to fight for it and fight our corner. But we certainly need investment, and, and yeah. we're, in an, we're in an ideal location there for cross border funding. Mm -hmm. And we had done uh, fabulous work with, with uh, uh, South Armagh and Castle Blaney, uh, yeah, that was the Casa, 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 Casa project, project yes. which was which was a fabulous project, which threw down uh, part of the funding for Sleek Gullion, uh, part of the funding for for the Loch Ross the improvements we made at Loch Ross over the years, and that, and and it was part of the 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 festivals and and and, and that that took place between Ticullen and Lasley and all and that it was it was one of the most successful projects we have and uh, i do believe even with her we may uh, have to fight a corner of course for funding mm -hmm. but i do believe our location that that we can work with with all of the other councils yeah. and maybe draw down some of the cross border funding but we certainly need an investment of money 
the big issue in, in South Armagh is that an awful lot of our young people has emigrated. Uh -huh. Unemployment. Yeah. Yeah. Unemployment. Yeah. And we really, we really have to, to get to work on it, you know, where, where we get, get people in, especially in the next round of rural development money, which will come online um, next year. We need to, to, to get, which we had a great boost out of this one, but we need to get more of that money in and we need to get, get, get more uh, people creating small enterprises in the area and, and, and trying to hold on to our young people. My own, my own three children have emigrated, you know, really? right, yeah. up along, right up along the road I live on. All of the families up there have, to have, have all children in, in, in Australia, America and all the different, all the different places. All as when they're young and it's a great experience for them and it's all right for a few years they, they really all want to come home in the end <laughs> yes, and we, yeah, all, we all we all of course yeah, yeah. we all of course want them home <coughs> and uh, but but we have to to create employment for them yeah yeah and the, the timber commerce there in crossing lane they're doing great work maybe you yeah. covered that already before. no we didn't no, actually no. i was the uh, kind doing of running out of time but uh, the council is supporting the, the chamber, chamber. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in, in every way possible yeah. Yeah. well as a, a councillor a newish councillor going forward into the uh, New councillor, are you looking forward to representing your area I in the bigger so. council? Yes. I am indeed. I know there's a, there's a lot of uh, uh, different pulls for investment and all and for funding uh, right across the, the, the new council area and we will be battling. But uh, I think we've got a good basis and mm. the South of people are very resilient <laughs> and they're used to fighting their corner for every everything they can get and everything they should be entitled to. So good. I'm looking forward to the, the cut and trust, the yeah. cut and trust of the new council chamber. You know. Well, I'm sure we all are. Thank you very much, councillors, for, yeah. for joining me uh, today. Uh, and viewers, thank you for joining me over the last five weeks. I hope uh, you've learned something uh, of what is happening in your area and the great work that the councillors are doing to, to make our area a great place to, to live in and, and to visit. I think you will agree that Newry and Mourne uh, is a great area with lots of potential and I think our councillors will, will continue to represent us to their very best of their ability. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks.